Okay, here I go. Went ahead and uh, scuffed them with a red scuff pad after I washed them down with naphtha, which did remove that shiny film. Got them hanging here. I'm gonna put a very light coat of primer on it and go from there. Well, I put a light coat of primer on these parts. Um, I'm gonna look back, see if anyone's made any comments on how to paint these. It's, it is a light coat, as you can see, you can still see the black through it, very light. I'm gonna use this light coat to find any imperfections. I think I had them all out before I primed it, but we'll check and go from there. Okay, I went ahead and put some adhesive promoter on this and then put a little coat a primer on them and then I sanded them out to get them smooth which I'm gonna to have to put a little more primer on these because I've sanded a lot of it out but then I went ahead and attached my welting and I'm not sure about this welting I don't know if I like this stuff or not I don't even know if it's really necessary at this point but I've got it glued in three or four spots along the whole line of each one and tape for right now because as you can see these have no holes to mount it to your wheel well none of them do so i need to get that taken care of so what i did is i put my car in the air and i'm going to go ahead and bolt these in on and then i'm going to go ahead and uh, do my screws to where they're supposed to go all the way around the car so i need to get that taken care of you know where this is going to go and what's going to go on here and so forth and so forth so i really need to get those dialed in and then i'll decide if that welting's even worth the worth the problem or not i mean have any of you had to just left the welting off i mean does it really matter i mean most show cars don't see much rain anyhow it's not like we're going to drive them in the winter in the snow and have all this stuff get built up underneath these. So I don't know if it's there to fill in the gap or if it's there to help keep debris out. You know, um, why don't you let me know what you think? What, what are they there for? What's the welting for? Is it just to fill the gap for the body or is it, is it to keep leaves and trash out of there from building up underneath that, those uh, spoilers, well, well spoilers. Um, we'll get back on this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these holes drilled, get this mounted. This one fender already has holes in it, but it looks like they moved it once or twice. So I guess I'm going to put them where I want them and then get them marked out and get that taken care of and go from there. Um, be back in, in a little bit. Okay, I got my uh, wheel well flares spoilers attached they don't look the greatest but you know what <clears throat> they don't look the worst either so i think i can pretty much live with it uh tape still holding the glue i should have pulled that off but i didn't front one this side fit pretty decent uh it didn't line up very well down there on that chin spoiler i still have to work on that this side did it, it lined up pretty good but it's kind of pulled in a couple spots. I loosened it up and it really didn't help it any. So I don't know if that's molded in there or what, you know, but got them on there. So I'll be uh, waiting for my other things to show up, which won't take very long. Just like stir sticks and paint strainers, you know, and the little odds and ends stuff waiting for it or some more masking tape but yeah it's coming along i'll probably get these pulled off here soon uh right now i don't think i'm gonna be working on it for a, quite a while uh it's supposed to get up hundreds which all everyone's experiencing that but out here in a shop where there's no air conditioning no way to cool the building uh it's kind of tough it, it warms up really, really fast in the sun, you know, but when it's cold, it stays cold. Um, I do have a little 
air conditioner over here, but there's no way in the world this thing is going to chill this building. I thought about getting a swamp cooler or I'm not sure what else called condenser cooler. Water runs across it and that. Uh, I've been looking at them. I'm just not sure if it's worth the money at this point. Uh, maybe it's cheaper to just put an air conditioning system in, but man, I don't want to do that either. So, hey, if any of you got a swamp cooler out there you want to give away, I'm more than interested in taking it. But yeah, well, we're moving along. I'll get this taken care of, pull these back off. I've got to sand them back down since I manhandled them and put a little marks in them and stuff and screw holes. I'll get those all taken care of and uh, get some more primer on these things and get them ready to paint. The nose, I thought I did okay. Uh, I think I messed up. I'm going to be sanding this back down. These noses are just terrible, but I got some cracks in it just from the primer. They, that's already cracked. See a crack in there? The very nose has a crack in it. That's really crazy to me. I think this uh, primer's shrinking. But I'm going to knock this primer back down off this thing. It's just more time spent, but I know it's going to be worth it in the end. I'm going to knock this down. I'm still waiting for the flex additive to come for this nose. You know, I had just barely, I mean, barely a cap full left from a project I did a while back. And that's what I use on my flares. 